Welcome back guys and girls to another episode of Dad's Toy Garage and today we are working on some kick panels and getting ready to install these guys. These are the Retrosound R525N. They're 5.25 inch speaker. They're low profile. They're the best fit for this car because it is so tight in the footwell. Um, that's these guys here. Uh, they're uh, supposed to be a really good sounding speaker too. I'm excited to try and run them. And I already got a little progress done, but we'll take you back to the beginning of where this all started. So let's get into it and let's have some fun with this and let's get her done. So opening up the R525N speakers, they're part of their premium line. This is what you get in the box. You get speaker wires. It also comes with grills. I plan on using these in the kick panels. And so having the grills is actually something I was hoping for. And these are 5.25 inches. And look how thin these are, guys. They will mount in a lot of locations very nicely, which is nice because there's not a lot of footwell room on the driver's side with the clutch pedal there. So a mounting depth of an inch and a half. So the magnet is a special magnet in there. Um, Built-in tweeter. And looking at the packaging, it shows you the power it makes. And I wanted the 5.25 over the four inch. I knew it'd be a little more fitment issues, but I wanted the power so we could really drive that uh, sound. And so I got, it's got 40 watts RMS, which is the number that matters to the most. That's the constant power it puts out and 80 watts max power. This guy is gonna shine in this car. He's gonna be really nice. We're gonna take it over to the car here. And I will show you what I'm talking about for limited space. So this is where it's going to go. And ideally you want to kind of mount them like this. But the issue is this pedal to here, the clearance, if you check it out again, it gets very small. So I'm going to be first thing doing is cutting a hole in here. And we're going to be molding new ones out of fiberglass and doing a molded fit is the plan. All right, we're gonna cut these up. For those of you who like original parts, you might wanna turn away. I got two of these. So, um, here we go. And out it goes, we got a hole. I've done a lot of thinking here about how to put that speaker in it's tight and i knew it was going to be tight the issue i had here was we had to make a bit of clearance in here to get the speaker to kind of sit in this pocket and these are a really low profile speaker i'm guessing the lowest you can get on the market which is helping a lot um what i am going to do the fuse box has to mount here and I'm not extending any of those wires to move it somewhere else. I'm going to probably aim to mount just this portion up here and once that's done separate all of this off of there and I'll build it fresh out of fiberglass. We'll need to build a mounting ring. It'll get mounted on here then I'll, I'll take a fiberglass mold off of this piece. I've got this glued in place. Uh, to mount this uh, little ring that I've made for the driver's side kick panel is a piece of cardboard box. I've cut glue gunned. That's temporary. All of this will get taped over and then I will lay the fleece I've picked up at the fabric store. It's stretchy and I'm going to be getting creative with the stapler here because I'm not sure how else to do it. But we'll stretch it on, stick it to the back side here probably with contact cement. And then my plan is to staple along here to pull it tight, take the shape it needs. Same thing here, we'll put some staples in here or I'll put a rubber molding on here, I'm not sure. And we'll resin up the fleece and after that we can just put two more layers of fiberglass glass cloth on there. So I'm excited about that. But before we do any fleecing to this, I want to build the same thing for the passenger side so I can do them and have them set up at the same time and kind of keep an eye on each of them. So yeah, there it is, second speaker mounting ring. So we got our two mounting rings. This one's gonna go on the passenger side kick panel. So I've, what I've done, just like the other side, 
temporarily mounted the speaker on the ring. You can see how it fits really nice. And I don't have a plasma cutter, but I do have a cutoff disc, and that is exactly how we got it done. So I've got it, actually, I'm surprised. It's held on with cardboard and glue gun, and the speaker itself, I mean, is screwed into the ring, but that ring is held on with cardboard and glue gun. And I think that'll work quite well. I'm not taking a ton of footwell space. This is also comes off a bit. I'm gonna figure out how to secure these down. It's probably gonna involve some screws or bolts when I get to that point. But I think we can pull the speaker out of there and reinforce it a little bit more. Both door panels are ready to be taped so that we can start the fiberglass fleece process to get that shape. Tape is going to help be my release agent in this application. It's what I did for my sub box when I built it conformed to the trunk of my Mustang. We'll get a picture of that in here as well. I'll dig some of those up from back in the day. But uh, yeah, we'll do with the tape first. And I'm just going to be using masking tape. Tape both of these up now. And I gave a thin coat of cooking oil, like Pam spray kind of thing. Except for these rings, I want the fiberglass to here to here. This is my mold release, I guess. I'm going to do a little experimenting here. I kind of want it to have this molded shape here around in this area. So I've kind of stabled it tight in a couple areas. And then the rest, we'll cut it back later and I'll overlay it with just fiberglass matting and resin. But see if we can get this bottom section to take a nice molded shape. That would be like super ideal if it works out nice. If not, we'll have a little less contour, but it will also still work. This will just make it easier to wrap with vinyl material later. So a little explanation at this step in the game here. Uh, what I have done is I put the fleece on there, as you saw, and I stretched it on, I stapled in a couple areas, and I coated it with resin. And the other thing I did to get it to this stage, I coated the whole thing in masking tape and I used cooking spray. And you might laugh at that, but it works as a mold release. I laughed at it until I talked to our fiberglass department at work. And uh, he said, hey, that's a good idea. So I said, why not? We have it in the kitchen. So that's them. Uh, the next step is gonna be doing, I'm gonna probably start with two layers. If I think I need more, uh, we'll add more, but we're gonna be adding this stuff with the resin, this is just fiberglass matting, uh, cloth type stuff. I don't know which one it is, um, but I told them I want the stuff that's supposed to conform a little bit better to some curves, which we got curves through now. So yeah, I'm gonna get into that and let's have some fun with it. All right, let's get some matting done on here. I've cut some stuff into little squares, got my resin mixed up. We need more, we can cut more. And my research says, best bet is to dab with the resin. So that's what we're gonna do. And it's very important you get all the air bubbles out that you can. And I've done the small pieces because I'm fairly certain it won't match all the contours of this part. Fiberglass work is completed. I've got double layers back to back here and here. If this is still pretty flexible, we'll add a little bit more, but we'll evaluate that once it's dry. And now they need a lot of sanding and trimming. I just trimmed these guys out. One more thing's gonna happen with these on both of them. In order to get the gap right on the car, I gotta put this edge back on. And so I slid a little bit here into the original panel and I'm just gonna fiberglass onto this piece and across here and down this edge just to get this height matching. Same thing on this guy here. I've now added to that back edge so that this factory shape carries all the way through. And when I trim this, the idea is that it still keeps this depth the same because this will touch the inner rocker on both sides, uh, both these guys here. 
and that'll allow the speaker to not bottom out against the car as easily. It should have just enough clearance. Kick panels are trimmed up, ready to do, I guess next step will be fiberglass work, um, as in terms of fiberglass filler. This guy's a two-piece, I still be able to mount the fuse box, and I believe the flasher goes here. And the end result is gonna be vinyl wrapping these guys. And we'll just grab a speaker real quick here. So you can see where they're gonna go. And that's them right there. Just doing a little test fit. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap here. Uh, it'll pull tight, but I want to make sure it's not under a ton of tension when it's pulling tight. What I'm probably going to do is put the wind lace on and then put this on top of that. But it'll probably need a bit of trimming here just to get it to take uh, the full shape. But it's coming along very nicely. Here's the other kick panel sitting in place. And we'll have to do a little bit more trimming yet to get it to sit fully right. So I picked up this from the local fabric store. It's black vinyl, it's textured, I think very close to the original. It was the nicest looking vinyl I could find there. I wanna wrap those kick panels with that. And I've got these various fasteners. Uh, I got push pin, larger push pin, uh, screws with these type of head. Ones with built-in washer. And a bunch of smaller black ones, so I'm not sure which one's gonna work best for this application, but I bought a couple that I thought might kind of qualify for that. So then I gotta figure out how to mount them because it'll use a different mounting system than original because it will not be held in with the wind lace. And if you look here, I've installed the wind lace and there's no way that this edge, I want it to be a little bit stronger. There's no way this edge is gonna fit underneath the wind lace. And this came out of Thailand, along with the other Thailand parts I've ordered. It fits nicely, and I used a bit of a hammer with some masking tape on it to get it on. But yeah, I want to get this guy to fit up right. I've contoured this edge to this wind lace. I've got this panel mounted now. I put a screw here, here, and two up here. And it's this style of fastener. I feel like that's the closest to OEM. Plus it's got a built-in washer to spread out the load a little bit. And those guys are these ones here. And I got them from Napa. And a little up close on these guys here. There you go. So yeah, number 10 by three quarter. I had to do a little bit of clearancing in the body here. I just folded this in a little bit just so the speaker wouldn't bottom out in there. Um, but I know I can mount fasteners here, here, and here is a good spot. I'm not sure how I feel about putting one dead center. We will see. But this thing's got to be body worked and a little bit more clearancing here. And then I can uh, get this ready for vinyl wrap. I've done a coat of body filler over the whole thing. We're going to sand it down. I'll probably trim it while it's tacky now um, with a knife. Kind of knock down some of this stuff so there's less sanding. Uh, some of the ridges. Then we'll reopen up the holes from the back side that I just body filled over and we'll be good to go. So uh, because these are being vinyl wrapped, I can get away with sanding them with 100, what am I at here? 120 grit on just a sticky back roll. And so I'm sanding away at these guys and when we're done, we'll vinyl wrap them. You'll never see the sanding scratches and they'll look a lot better than I think painted in this application. A little more durability too. I got this guy's body work done. I'm gonna clean it up, I'm gonna wrap it, and it should look really cool. The ring will fit on here. I've been using it to test fit as we go. I'm gonna wrap this guy. So I've just pretty much measured out for now what I need. All right guys, we're using this stuff here. It is weld wood, land out top and trim adhesive, the solvent grade. Same stuff we did on the headliner. I've sprayed this off. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best.
You can see it's starting to take a shape that it needs to take here. I'm going to respray this in here. You can redo the adhesive properties of it by spraying it again. Um, I had to move it a little more than needed and it was starting to lose its tack, but uh, I think it'll look pretty good. So I've got the top of it wrapped now. Uh, the next step will be me flipping it over and doing the bottom side. This kick panel is done. Let's just drop a speaker in there maybe. There it is. All right guys, girls, a uh, little tech tip here. I cut too much off here and too much here when I was putting the carpet in. It was, a, like I said earlier, it was a challenging carpet to put in. And what did work to reattach it is this stuff here. Ultra Bond Super Glue by Permatex. That stuff is holding this together quite durably. Now for those of you who make the mistake that I make, we're going to put a little bit of carpet dial on these spots here. And that should look a lot better than not having any carpet there. It's a little bit of a bummer, but it happens. I've got this one almost mounted here. Uh, this is the original piece of kick panel. I've kind of kept this much of it. I've got a screw here and here securing it. And I needed to keep this part because the fuse block and the flasher mounts to it. All right, I got this guy. He's fit up, he's trimmed. It's time to get some body filler on here and we'll get them looking real good in real short order. This is the second round of filler, should be all it needs. I filled up a couple more low spots and some of the bigger pinholes. Probably don't need to fill the pinholes, but it's habit um, doing body work on, on that kind of stuff. So I have been using 120 grit sandpaper and uh, we were at, me and Tony were, we spent New Year's Day doing body work on his commuter car and he had 60 grit discs which knocked that down really fast and it got me thinking uh, old habits don't go too coarse but really in this application it doesn't matter because it's going to get vinyl wrapped and I'm guessing coarse will actually help it hold on better like coarser sanding scratches so I went to our local hardware store and picked up this non-automotive grade which I don't think matters um p100 so it's 100 grit it is nice and coarse a lot coarser than this stuff that should knock down stuff quickly i was actually enjoying working with the 60 grit and then i'm on tony's car and then bring it back up to 220 so we'll do this it should go a lot faster here is the driver's side kick panel body works done and this sandpaper was a good choice that made that job a lot faster more enjoyable Half an hour instead of, probably cut my time almost 75% uh, down, uh, just changing the grit. So these retro manufacturing speakers are probably the only five and a quarter inch speakers that would fit in this location and still allow you to drive the car in terms of having the foot room you need. So you guys will definitely want to check out these because they're such a low profile speaker. Plus they're rated for, I believe it was 80 watts. Um, yeah. A nice unit i'm very curious to see what they're going to sound like but that's those guys there so here's my test fit and we want to make sure the speakers fit in there still they don't bottom out and we're good to go they're not bottoming out well there's the second one for the driver's side it's good to go and I guess it's time to do some wiring in the car. So I finished both kick panels. They're both wrapped. They're ready to go in the car. Now here's the thing. You guys are going to have to wait till next week to see them go in. Thanks for stopping by to Dad's Toy Garage. I've enjoyed doing stereo install up to this point. I'm very excited to see how these kick panels are coming along. It makes me very excited to want to put them in the car. And 
that's going to happen next week. I also am intending to have it wired up and be able to have us have a listen to it. So stop by next week and we will most likely be listening to some tunes in the car. So as always, get in your shop, get your stuff done, and have a good time. We'll talk to you later.